Seoul, South Korea. Tens of thousands of North Korean defectors have fled south since the late 1990s. Kim Ryong-hee is one of the rare few who's ever asked to go back. She came here thinking she could work for a while to earn money to pay for medical treatment and then go home. But instead, like all defectors, she lost her North Korean passport and was made a South Korean citizen. Her old home, just a 20-minute flight away, if you could fly. South Koreans are banned by their government from visiting or even communicating with anyone in North Korea. I'm taken to see Kim Ryong hees husband and her daughter. We sent a crew in South Korea to go speak with your wife and your, your mom, um, and she recorded uh, a video message that she wanted uh, she wanted you to see. taken to meet Kim Ryong-hee's aging parents. Her father is 75, her mother, 72. When you see her, I can't even imagine what you're thinking. <laughs> Since she left, her mother has gone blind in one eye. She's losing sight in the other. She worries time is running out that she'll never see or hold her daughter again. They can't call, they can't email, they can't even write a letter. No way to communicate. We let her husband and daughter use my phone to send a video message back to South Korea. Ryong Goom tells her mother how she just graduated from catering school and now she's a chef. She hopes that someday her mother can taste what a good cook she's become. She shows off their new apartment. They moved in here after she left. No matter what's happening in the outside world, this is reality for this family and many others on the Korean Peninsula. So many families divided.